How old are you now, Robert? I'm coming up 62. Oh, okay. And are you still pumping iron? <laughs> I'm not actually. I haven't. I haven't actually touched a weight in about two years. Okay. And what's is there a specific reason for that? Yeah, there is. Yeah, I used to train in a garage up at my father's house. Well, what happened was because he needed full time care, we built an extension on his house, and my gymnasium had to be knocked out. <laughs> so I've had nowhere actually to train since. But I've been using resistance tubes for two years, and actually they're pretty good. Okay, you can actually stay in amazing shape with them if you use them correctly. There's no public gyms nearby. There is, but I'm very very simple. I probably trained in a public gym maybe three times in my life. So you built your physique basically in a home gym? In a garage. In a garage. Yeah, a rundown okay. garage with the Incredible. most basic of equipment. There's nothing special about my training that never has been. Um, it's been the most Spartan basic routine that anyone ever could ever have. Well, now that we brought it up, you want to share that a little bit? So when you say the most basic, I'm assuming not only the equipment, but even the structure of it. Why don't you break that down though? Right. Well, I've, I've always trained six days a week. And what I used to do, my actual gym was just an old garage full of cobwebs and junk. I had couple of squat stands i had some concrete blocks for walls to catch the weight i had a chinning bar and some dips bars a couple of benches i actually had a hack squat machine i still got that and 300 kilos of weights a couple of bars a couple of dumbbell bars that's about it really so if it's pretty simple in that regard i guess you've transitioned now just to the tubing for the last two years do you feel like yeah. you've maintained have you maintained like a lot of what you had prior to the two years or do you feel like you lost a little bit of size what's the situation there you think a lot of size a, a bit of size but i'm in amazing shape i'm probably not far off of competition standard wow i measured my waist the other day 27 inches how tall are you five foot two i will say that that um hopefully i will compete again one day and i would love to do it without training just with rubber bands i would love to do that to see if it could be achieved Break down that current setup you have right now with the band. So what does that look like? Are you training six days per week still? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I and do. and what's the arrangement split kind of arrangement that you do? Is it like upper lower? How do you how do you do it? Right. Well, on, on a on a Monday, I do I do chest and back. So it's honestly it's very very easy. You can adapt it. You need you need things like a bed beside you. You can use one of the legs and so forth to just to hook it around. And I also do it very unorthodox. When I say I, I train with bands i don't do like you see in the videos all right i've adapted it to my own use I, i've made my own scheme up so for example if i'm doing a row or something like that i'll put it around a leg so i can pull the bands in but what i do is i don't use any handles i just have tubes and i might have eight tubes all at once and i hold it probably right at arm's length so i'm holding it about three inches from the bottom and there's immense tension and then i'll pull that in the tension that you can build through these is amazing it's actually unbelievable i'm quite taken by them actually because there's several things remember when you're building muscle primarily all you need is tension muscles don't know if you're lifting a bag of manure or lifting a dumbbell really don't know as long as there's tension and you exhaust the muscles you're going to get progress would you say the bands or what inspired the use of bands for the last two years was it mainly the convenience aspect at this point or or was it also the fact that you just wanted to change things up from an entertainment standpoint? Because you've been doing this for a long time. So I'm sure, you know, you want to find ways to make it more exciting. No, it was it was purely, purely all they had at the time to be honest. So okay. I made do with it and then I adapted it and suddenly I thought, oh, this is not bad. In fact, I will get back to training with weights at some point, but I might actually adapt both. So I'll do half and half. I think now, especially as you get older, what I've noticed now that I'm in my 60s, using bands or tubes, there's no wear and tear on the joints. There's nothing on your back. I've got no injuries. I've never felt healthier. Usually when I used to lift tons and tons of weight every day, I was walking around like an old cripple. Right, now, I can understand it. Because you trained also six days per week, right? Those were some intense workouts, I would assume, when you were competing in your prime. Uh, again, when I trained, I don't train like anybody else or very few people probably. I've never gone with normal, what 
people are accustomed to, what they've been told how to train. I ripped the rule book up, basically, and uh, I've always designed my training to what felt right for me. So when I advise anyone on training, I always say, rip the rule book up, train as you feel. Your body will tell you what it wants. For example, I'll say that I never do full range movements. I know the science will tell you I'll do full range movements. All I found, yes, I have done at some point. All I've gotten from that is injuries. So what I adapted was a mid-range constant tension movement. So when I say mid-range, what I did is I cut the bottom of the movement out and I cut the top of the movement out. So I kept in that sweet spot in the center. So if I was doing squats, for example, I'd go down to about an inch or two inches above parallel. And then I would come up to about three inches off of lockout. So my quads were under constant tension the whole time. And doing it that way, I used to lift some really crazy weights and you probably won't believe it i used to do sets with 220k on my back for say 60 reps per set in that sweet spot that constant tension and what i do know through my experience is if i tried say doing that over a full range of movement say i, I lowered the weight down to 180 kilos and then i could probably do i don't know 20 25 parallel squats and up per set i've tried that and you do not feel anywhere near the intensity it's just incredible if you're if you're squatting a very very heavy weight in a mid-range movement you'll never feel anything like it especially when you do high reps the exhaustion the fatigue is incredible it used to take me about nine minutes to get over a set because i was so exhausted would you do that with uh, every exercise i've always taken quite a long time between sets but it depends on what exercise i was doing for example if i was doing chin-ups then i might take only a couple of minutes between sets if i was doing deadlifts it might be six minutes when i was doing squats it was sort of eight nine minutes again I've, I've always done this through feel when i felt it was right to do the next set then i would do it as far as the full range what you were just mentioning there would yeah. you approach it as well for every exercise or the majority of exercises would you do that as well where you'd avoid the extremes like you wouldn't go to the fully shortened position yes. or the fully lengthened position you kind of work in that mid-range yeah pretty much always i'd work in that mid-range yeah and it worked a treat for me because I, I built a hell of a lot of muscle doing it um i don't know if you've ever seen any photographs of me have you of course you were talking about dorian yates i've got a story for you if you're interested i was doing a competition many many years ago my friend Roy Duval was in the audience with Dorian Yates and they were sat together and Dorian said when I came out Dorian said to Roy he said 